Hi. If an atom was the size of a stadium, its electrons would be the size of bees, and this is E.S. Einsteinium. General Atomics MQ-1 Predator is a drone used by the USA and can carry up to two Hellfire missiles. When the missiles are fired, they rocket forward and towards the ground. Now the military use computers to do the projectile calculations to work out where it's going to hit. Altogether, there are five things involved in the equations of motions. SUVA. The S is for displacement, or distance. The U is for initial velocity, or start speed. The V is for final velocity, or end speed. The A is for acceleration, and the T is for time. There are four formulas which can be used. S is equal to start speed plus end speed divided by 2 and then times by time. Another is S is equal to start speed times time plus 1 half times acceleration times time squared. Our third one is end speed is equal to start speed plus acceleration times time. And our last one is end speed squared is equal to start speed squared plus 2 times acceleration times distance. Picking your formula is important to success. You should pick your formula by what you don't need rather than what you have. Each formula is missing one thing and involves the rest of them. Formula A is missing A or acceleration. Formula B is missing V or end speed. Formula C is missing S or distance. And formula D is missing T or time. Ah, but what about U or start speed? Well, if the object starts at rest, we can assume that it's zero and therefore irrelevant, as in every formula, it will have no effect on the outcome. For example, if we have our figures here and we're looking for distance, these formulas would be useless as we do not have acceleration and we are not looking for it, leaving this to be the only one that we can use. These formulas need to be rearranged in different orders to get different outcomes. The formulas on their own only give distance and end speed. When rearranging, there are several things you need to remember. What you do to one side, you must do to the other. For example, if you divide by t, both sides have to be divided by t. Letters that are next to each other without a sign in between are multiplied together, so a t is actually a times t. Also, squares can be difficult. If you can, try and leave them to the end when everything else is gone. But if not, remember that what you do to one side, you must do to the other. OK, let's try an example. A car going at 20 meters per second due east accelerates east at 4 meters per second squared for 10 seconds. How far does the car travel while accelerating? So what we know is u, a and t, and we're looking for s. This means we need the formula that does not contain v. That is, s is equal to u times t plus 1 half times a times t squared. So let's put the numbers in and see what we get. s is equal to 20 times 10 plus 0.5 times 4 times 10 squared, which is s is equal to 200 plus 200, so s is equal to 400 meters. Okay, let's try another, a harder one. A car is going at 30 meters per second and is decelerating at 2 meters per second as it heads towards town. When it reaches town, it is traveling at 22 meters per second. How far away is the town? So we are looking for s, and we have u, v, and a. We do not have t, so we're going to use v squared is equal to u squared plus 2 times a times s. But the formula needs rearranging. We can either rearrange it now or see how it plays out. I think we're just going to see how this plays out. v squared, or 22 squared, would be 484. And then this is equal to 30 squared plus 2 times minus 2, because it is deceleration, times s. So we have... 484 is equal to 900 plus minus 4s. So we're going to minus 900 and we get minus 416 is equal to minus 4s. If we divide by the 4s, we get 104 is equal to s. So the town is 104 meters away. Easy? There are some simple tricks you need to remember. If an object starts at rest, then u is always 0, and if the object is moving due to gravity, acceleration is always 10, unless said otherwise. For example, they could be talking about being on Mars or on the moon. Now that is SUVAT. My next physics video will be on projectiles, as they also include SUVAT. So subscribe for that. Hit like if you enjoy the video. I'm the Eccentric Scientist, signing off. Bye!
ES Einstein Him is sponsored by Science is Madness. Find them on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Science is Madness. There is a link in the description.